Hello, everybody. My name is Veronique Sarval. I'm an undergraduate at the Indian Institute of Technology, Delhi, and I'm going to talk about our work on the benchmarking whole genome sequence based structural variant colors, which I did at Zara Lab UCLA. So, structural variants, also called SVs, are basically regions of the genome that refer to insertions, deletions, inversions, and duplications, and can cause various diseases. So, although a lot of SV detection tools have been developed in the past, a major limitation of the benchmarking studies carried so far is that the exact coordinates of the start and the end position of the SV are not known. And hence, it makes it very hard for researchers to choose appropriate SV tools. Hence, in our study, we run 15 different SV callers on our data set, and then we compare the deletions detected by each of the SV callers with the deletions present in a gold standard data set, which is basically a comprehensive PCR verified data set in which the exact start and the end positions of the deletions are known. And then we, we evaluate which tools have a good balance of precision and sensitivity. So we first compare the number of deletions detected by the tool with the number of deletions in the true deletion sample. So we see that there's a huge variation all the way from around 900 Indominer to 82,000 present in gas feed. We observe that around half of the tools report fewer deletions than are actually present in the true deletion, while the remaining half predict a larger number of deletions as compared to the true deletion data set. We observe so we, we vary our resolution threshold from 10 base pair to 10,000 base pair. And we observe that when we increase our resolution threshold, then our, the number of deletions detected by the SV callers increase, which means that the true positive rate and the true negative rate increases. At 100 base pair, the tool with the highest true positive rate is clever. We then analyze the length distribution of the deletions detected by each SV caller. So we compare the median value of the deletion length of all of the tools. So Breakdancer is the tool with the closest median deletion length as compared to the true deletion data set. And seven out of the 15 SV callers overestimate the deletion length. We then compute four different metrics, sensitivity, precision, specificity, and F-score to evaluate the performance of the SV callers. So our first observation is that there are certain tools like Gaspin and NoMiner that have so that overpredict deletions. So although they have a very high true positive rate, they also have a very high false positive rate, which leads to a very high precision, but then a very low sensitivity. So because we want tools with a good balance of both precision and sensitivity, we consider F, the F score of the tools. So Manta and Lumpy are the tools with the highest F score in all the four threshold categories. And Manta is the best performing tool at 100 base pairs. Another observation is that the precision and the specificity values were found to be strongly correlated for all of the tools except for Prest. So then we study the performance of SV tools on low and ultra low coverage data. So we downsampled the data from 32x to 0.1x. We observe that for sensitivity and F-score, the tools have a monotonically increasing trend. So as the coverage increases, sensitivity increases, the F-score increases. But for specificity and precision, we, we, we observe that the tools reach a maxima at an intermediate specificity and precision, and then decrease on both ends. So for the F-score, Delhi has, a, has the highest F-score for all coverages, 4x and below. And Manta is the best performing tool in terms of F-score for coverages from 8 to 32x. So then we compare the performance of our SV callers across various deletion lengths, which basically means that we divide the deletions detected by each of the tools into four different categories based on the length of, del of the deletion from 50 to 100 base pairs all the way to more than 1,000 base pairs. So for short deletions that are less than 100 base pair, the precision, specificity, and F-score values are typically low. So they're less than 40% irrespective of the tool for um, this length category. For deletions less than 500 base pair, Manta and Chris were the only two tools to have a high specificity value and all of the other tools actually had a very low specificity. And for the F-score, Manta and Lumpy were the, were the only tools that had a F-score of 30% consistently across all the four different deletion length categories and hence were our best performing tools. So a preprint of our paper is available on BioArchives. I would like to thank all the co-authors of this paper and thank you.